All right, what's going on, y'all? AFO back again. The Vols with another dub. 2 0. We're going to move up in the rankings, hopefully, instead of falling back down this, you know, next week for some reason. You know, we'll see. Texas lost. Uh, that's a big one. So maybe that'll, that'll help us out a little bit. But Tennessee, uh, in all facets, except maybe the missed kick at first, was, uh, they did pretty good. Pretty good today. Um, 35 12, you know, we led from, Start to finish, you know, we kind of boat raced him in a way. Still a few things to work on, obviously, but, you know, Garantano did a lot better. He was 14-23, 190 yards, one touchdown. He had two uh, QB sneaks for touchdowns. So, in total, he had three. You know, he, he wasn't missing too many overthrows today, at least in the short passing game. His deep ball is honestly one of his better his better traits in him. Um, you know, he wasn't facing, like, too much pressure today. I think he only got sacked, like, one time or something like that, but, you know, he was, he was doing pretty well. Let's see if he gets sacked at all. I don't think it'll say, but, you know, I, I don't remember. I think that one sack, and, you know, we were up by so much. Eric Gray obviously had a great game. Ran for over 100 yards, one touchdown. Ty Chandler almost had 100 and one touchdown. Um, and also, uh, Eric Gray had one receiving touchdown as well. Caught one for receiving. Palmer did pretty good. Jalen Hyatt. Him and I, I, I feel like him, you know, today was his coming out day. You know, he can't, came out and caught two balls. You know, he's a speedster. I think we should have gotten Valus Jones involved a little bit more, especially after he showed up last week. Because he's a playmaker. He's a playmaker, in my opinion. He did pretty well. We didn't really have to pass the ball that much. I mean, like I was saying, Garantano only did 14 passes. You know, um, we were running the ball thick. I really... I really honestly think we should run the ball more. Aaron Tana, we should have the ball in his hands like that, you know. So I think, sorry about that, but I, I just think that we that we just need to keep running the ball more. Just the Cade Mays back, we started at right tackle today, and Jerome Carvin, Brandon Kennedy, and Trace Smith, Kanye Morris was back and better today as well. They were just getting the second level, which was letting Ty Chandler and Eric Gray just jump to the uh, second line and third line of defense and just letting them do their thing and, you know, keeping them out and making them miss. And that's what they did today. And, you know, you need a, in the SEC, you need a good O-line. And I think, honestly, we have one of the better O-lines in the SEC if they keep playing like this. And we, I just think we should be more consistent with our running. I just run the ball. I mean, it feels like we're getting at least five yards of pop whenever we run the ball. So, offense did pretty well, you know, put 35 points on the board, no defensive touchdowns like last week, and this is off, basically the balls had a lot of practices, but they had to not practice because of COVID, and contact tracing and whatnot, so they couldn't practice a lot of the soft season. So the first two games, not a lot of penalties, you know, we're moving the ball well, running the ball effectively, that's a pretty big deal, a pretty big deal for, um, for this team. And we're a, we're a pretty young team as well. So um, it's a good job on that. The defense, you know, defense did pretty well. Uh, they had to switch out their QB after the first quarter. Robinson, um, you know, Basilak did pretty, you know, he was he was honestly not doing too bad. You know, he threw that interception to uh, Theo Jackson. That was just a great play by Theo Jackson, in my opinion. Um, I don't know too much about their QB, but, you know, that we, we held him, kept him in check, didn't let any – Big plays happen outside of the, you know, that one drive they, we pretty much held them in check the whole game. That one drive they had, it was a fourth down. That was just an amazing throw. You can't really get on to crouch for that, um, where the tight end caught it and whatnot. You can't get on to the defender. I think, I'm pretty sure it was Crouch who did that. And then they ran it for a touchdown. You know, Khalil Roundtree, or Khalil, why did I think it was Khalil? Larry Roundtree, he was, um, you know, he was, he was their one playmaker for the day. He was getting his yards here and there, but. Overall, we pretty much bottled him up, and he had that, like I said, that touchdown that semi kept him in the game, but it really didn't. We were already up 28 to, it was 28 to 6 at that point, so we had no no real threat. You know, defense held him pretty well today sometimes. You know, here and there, you know, there's things that you can work on, but overall, defense did pretty well um, in terms of applying pressure to the QB and uh, you know, getting getting a turnover. Getting a turnover again is key. We won the turnover battle again. Um, you know, we need that. 
um, especially today. Uh, let's see. DeAndre Johnson, he had one good key sack. Um, I think he's going to end up being one of the better um, pass rushers in the SEC, and if not the country, we'll see. He's already got, I think, three or three and a half, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it doesn't show the stats here, but um, let's see if it's under team stats. But he did, you know, he did pretty well. Nah, it's not under here. But any, you know, anywho, uh, I know he got that one sack, and it was just a straight up finesse speed rush, you know, right around the left tackle, and he just got him. You know, the D line's shaping up to be pretty decent without um Darrell, Darrell Taylor. You know, uh, DeAndre Johnson is definitely picking that up. Um, I know uh, who got hurt. I can't remember who it was that got hurt. I think it was the transfer from Michigan. I can't remember his name. Um, but I think he got hurt one play or someone like that. And then Bumpus did pretty well. He was stuffing the run game, applying pressure to the QB. Uh, Kevon Bennett, he was doing pretty well. I can't, couldn't remember his name for a second. I was like, Kennedy. I can't. I don't know why I was thinking Kennedy. But no, um, you know, defense did pretty well. Offense kept him up. We played all well in all facets. You know, that's the way the game's supposed to play be played, you know, uh, offense fired off immediately, went up 7 nothing, and we never looked back, so overall, great game, you know, we got Georgia coming in next week, um, it should be shape up to be a good game, and they are playing at 6.30 tonight, so we'll see how they do against Auburn, you know, that's going to be a big game, and, you know, I, honestly, it would be better if they won, so they could stay in the top five, and who knows, that sets up a possible college game day maybe coming to Georgia next week. You know, who knows? We'll see. But, you know, I think if we just keep running the ball effectively, keep running the ball effectively and doing our thing, and we should be fine. We should be fine. But, yeah, thank you all. You know, thank you all for watching. I haven't been uploading as much as I should um, lately. Um, but... You know, especially with the Titans, you know, the Titans, so the whole Titans thing has been getting me. It's like we postponed our, like, our bye weeks this week and postponed to week seven, the Steelers game. So it's all, it's all jumbled, or week eight. Yeah, I think it's week eight, but it's just, it's all goofy, and I don't know. But hopefully I'll be keeping up with, uh, you know, possible, maybe some gaming videos, probably not. But, you know, hopefully I can keep it up on a, on a good track, and y'all and watching y'all y'all can watch that'd be cool but yeah thank you for watching please comment rate subscribe uh, you know just tell me what y'all think on the game you know my vols or our vols are doing pretty well but yeah thank y'all for watching um god bless afo is out